Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a wig wag tie-dye t-shirt. As always, it has been soaked in soda ash for a minimum of 20 minutes, and then I put it in the washing machine and spun it out until it's barely damp. This shirt is folded in half using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. For the sake of the length of the video, I chose to do that off camera. Now I'm taking a washable marker and I'm creating the pattern. So I use a piece of kite string, find my center, make my first circle, and then I go out about, oh, approximately four inches and make the second circle. And then I'm going to just begin fan folding along those lines trying to keep that pink line as straight as possible. So I'm gonna use rubber bands to secure this first line. You could use kite string if you wanted to, but I prefer rubber bands. They're just a lot quicker for me. So now I'm working on that second pink line that I made using the washable marker and I'm trying not to introduce new folds. So I just am giving a slight tug at the end of the shirt. I'm not pulling on it so hard that I make my first line become crooked and just making those fan folds, not creating new fan folds and just working along that line. And then I'll secure it with rubber band as well. I just continued to work and work trying to get that pink line straightened up. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. I'm okay with that. So I'm just continuing to work my way down the shirt, creating fan folds and not introducing new fan folds if I can help it. And then I'm just gonna work on it, securing it with rubber bands until we get the whole shirt rubber banded up and then we'll move into the dye process.
Now we have the shirt all secure with the rubber bands. I'm gonna take a washable marker and I'm going to create the pattern, which is just a zigzag back and forth up and down the shirt. So we need to make the pattern on the back of the shirt. So I'm making little tick marks at the peak of each of the triangles so that I can make the same exact pattern on the back of the shirt. All right, now it's time to dye, and the first color I'm going in with is deep purple. And I decided to put these in the fine needle tip bottles for a little more control. I'm not over saturating this first line. I'm gonna go over it a couple of times, but I don't wanna put so much on that it spreads and takes up the entire space for the other colors. The next color I'm going in with is turquoise and I'm just going to follow the same pattern up and down each triangle like I did with the deep purple. The next color is Scarlet Red. Now, deep orange.
And lastly, for this side, I'm going in with lemon yellow. So I've spun the shirt around and now I'm using bright green. So I wanted to see a bit more turquoise and a little less of the green. So I'm going back over with the turquoise and thickening that line up just a little bit and uh, covering also any white that I am seeing still. So for this shirt, I am concerned about saturation. I want to make sure that there's very little white left on this shirt. So I'm also going back over it with the deep purple, just trying to get those colors to penetrate through. And then I'm gonna leave this shirt to sit for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and come back and check it and see if we're ready to flip it over and do the other side. So it's been about 20 minutes and I've came back and I've checked the shirt and I'm seeing some of the colors coming through on the other side. So it's time to flip it and add the dye to the other side. I've laid it down on this dry towel to absorb some of that excess dye because I'm going to heavily saturate this shirt so I get um, less white when the shirt is finished. And I'm just gonna go over my pattern that I drew with the washable marker and do the exact same thing to the back of the shirt that I did to the front of the shirt.
So I've let the shirt sit for 20 minutes and I'm checking to see the saturation and I still see quite a bit of white in there. But wow, look at the white towel. How cool is that? The pattern is really leaching off onto it. So I'm just gonna go back and continue to saturate this shirt and saturate this shirt. I saturated it several times that I didn't record because this video would be four hours long if I recorded the entire thing. So I've let this shirt sit for about 30 minutes and now it's time to flip it over and check the front. I'm gonna see if there's any white left and if there is, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down another layer of dye. I'm gonna call it good after that and pray that I get enough saturation over the next 48 hours while it batches. All right, so the next step is I'm going to put it into its container and let it batch for 48 hours. But wow, check out that towel and all the dye that is on the table from that towel. This thing better be saturated. So we'll be back with the washout. There was so much dye in this shirt that I did most of the rinse out off camera. So now I'm taking off the rubber bands. I'm starting with cold water and working my way up into warm water, then into hot water. From here, it's going to go into the washing machine on a hot water cycle. Then I'm going to do a hot water cycle with textile detergent, and then another hot water cycle with Mil Soft to soften the shirt back up. You can reuse your rubber bands, so I just rinse them really, really well and set them off to the side on a paper towel, and when they're completely dry, I put them back in rotation to use again. So far, I like what I'm seeing. I got pretty good saturation. I don't see a lot of white. We'll know more after it's washed and dried. They always look different when they're dry. Well, here are the final results of our shirt, and I think it turned out pretty cool. This was my first wig wag, so I'm definitely going to try it again using a different color pattern. I think instead of the purple, I'll go with black. I really love the red and the orange and the yellow and, and the way it gives that glowing effect. I also do like the green and the turquoise. I think I would have rather had a little less green and more turquoise, though. So what do you guys think about this shirt? Go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching my tutorial. If you're finding them helpful, please click subscribe. 
give me a thumbs up and click the bell for future notifications when I upload another tutorial. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.